everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Divine Divinity, where last time, Jeanne leveled up and gained the ability to summon skeleton, and use wizard sight to peer into previously unseen areas. And also we, um, we did a bit of shopping. Um, I have had a quick look to see if there's anything that we might need from the potion shop or the general store. And there wasn't anything of interest, there were no feigned death potions or any items that would particularly be of use to us at this moment, so um, we haven't got anything there. And um, you might recall last time we had a slightly embarrassing incident at Jeff's Hardware where we um, we saw a crossbow we really wanted, uh, couldn't afford it, got a bit flustered, accidentally summoned a skeleton. Um, I think maybe a way around the, um, the fact that shop contents randomise between each visit. Is I think while you're in the shop you can use your teleporter stone to go um, back to another location and come back again and I think the shop contents will stay the same in that case but if you leave the shop um, and go away in any way so if you um, physically walk away or if you teleport away if you come back the contents will be different so I think maybe if we'd panicked and dropped our teleporter stone instead um, and hauled um, a lot of other loot back to the shop we might have been able to afford it but something to bear in mind for next time and right now Jeanne has a decision to make I hmm, I don't know which which way to go next I could travel to Vadistis um, I have a letter to deliver I could see if I can look at that vampire on the way and ultimately I could maybe find clues as to what's going on at Janice's castle, what's going on with Dr. Elrath, but it feels like it might be a needle in a haystack. My only other clue is, well... Xandalor did say that I should visit the Archer's Guild and visit the Elven Lord there. I mean, if I'm going to receive help from anywhere, maybe it's maybe it's a friend of Zandalor's. Um, and on the way, I could perhaps try and locate one or two of these teleporters. Um, that may help travel slightly. I think I'm going to do it. Let's use the teleporter here. shot. We may be able to use our newfound abilities. As I was saying, we'll be able to use our newfound abilities to gain some kind of insight into what's happening in this castle. I wonder, I wonder what range we have. Oh, okay. Some. Okay. I was hoping that might um, push back the darkness on our overall map, but it doesn't apparently. Which I, I can understand. Oh, okay. 
Hmm. Well, I don't know if that would be much help in this case. Let's talk to the captain of the guard again. Maybe, maybe he'll have changed his mind about us. Any news? No, the Duke is still dead. Mr. of the Guard. Good day to you, sir. What can I do for you? Uh, I, I just want to visit the castle. I'm sorry, but the castle is strictly off limits for security reasons. During the current, current period of crisis, all tours of the section of Stormfist Castle usually open to the public have been suspended. It's, it must be partly National Trust. I must politely ask you to leave the premises. Goodbye. Well, what if I were to stand here and perhaps look like I'm concentrating really hard and do this? something there. I think you're not going to see any people because they don't spawn in until you um, until you actually enter a room. So you can see the architecture but you can't see the uh, I mean it looks pretty basic doesn't it this castle. I mean you've seen the better equipped hovels frankly. Well hey was there a skate is there a skate park? Huh? There's definitely a skate park there. That's very confusing. Okay, so we're looking for the I spent a little time looking for these teleporters. And then carry on my way to the Archer's Guild. Whoa. Uh -huh. Oh. I don't want to true sight it. Uh -huh. Oh dear. I can't remember my hotkeys. Uh -huh. Um, so I think. That one. And that one. There we go. Wanted to rest in some hay somewhere too. I'll maybe put a map up down the side of this castle and see if there's any sign of a teleporter here. Good day, soldiers. A fire night? Oh, it looks. I mean, it might be dusk or something. Uh, can the castle guards be of any assistance to you? Good day, guard. Is all well? We're a bit worried about castle security at the moment. The informer told us that the Thieves Guild knows how to gain access to the castle through the sewers. I always said indoor toilets were unsanitary. Now it turns out that they're a risk to security too. Must be a good time, guardsman. Well, that's a clue, isn't it? Um, General Alex was up here to talk to, to Duke Dennis about the war on the orcs. From all the shouting, I'd guess they don't see eye to eye on matters of strategy. Frankly, I wish I were under the general's direct command, not that Brad Janus. She's a military genius, and he's just a randy little pipsqueak. Thanks. Um, you? Well, the news that the old Duke was murdered has worried a lot of us royal guards. I mean, what the rumours are true? That Duke Janus had a hand in it. If they come up with any real proof, we might cut the little rat's throat rather than guard him, with all due respect, of course. Well, I feel like the guards are kind of uh, on our side, really. Not gonna let us in. Well, all us royal guards are pretty shaken up by the death of the old Duke. He was a great friend to us. He'd often come down to the guard room and play dice with the off-duty watch. If he won, he'd give us our money back. But if we won, he'd make us keep his gold. He'd have died. We'd have died for that man. But you can't protect someone with a heart attack from a heart attack. Mm. Well, it depends if it was uh, chemically induced, I suppose. But thank you for your help. And now that there are. Um, sewers around. Thanks. Um, see if there's any more goss. This is, might be useful. Yeah, I think gossip perhaps is uh, it's not going to vary too much now. 
ale. Mm, the toilets, I've heard about the toilets. You know what, I wonder if there's some kind of sewer entrance external to the castle. Because that would solve a problem or two, wouldn't it? It's a big castle. Mm -hmm. Toilets, you say? Oh, hello, there's chickens. That's your time for the guardsman. Well, this looks like a farm, doesn't it? Let's... Oh, hang on, there's some hay. I might be getting a nap here. That might be handy. Um, is there a house? Where is a house? Can I... Is anybody around? It's a big house. There's a couple of people inside. Okay. Well, let's... Talk to the occupants. Not sure what's going on with the, the two notes of music that just started up there. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a very story house. Hello? Anybody home? Hello, Hugh and Ellie. Well met, stranger. Hugh Delabere at your service. I used to be a fine tailor before I moved to the farmlands. How can I help you? From the look of your clothes, I gather that you're a humble farmer these days. Don't you be looking down your nose at me. I have to work in the field from sun up to sunset. You can't wear a silken vest in the stables, you know. When I'm finished with work for the day, I put on clothes which are much more stylish. I'm just curious, but what sort of clothes do you wear after your day's work? Oh, I love to wear exotic clothes. For example, I'm very fond of knee-length robes worn high elf fashion. A couple of weeks ago, I bought myself a white tunic that goes just perfectly with a robe of indigo silk I made myself. My dear, you should see me in it under a red sunset. Uh, <laughs> well, anyway, it's good to get out of this rough burlap clothing. That's all I can say. Uh, I, don't know, I can ask for work, but I don't know if I'm going to do that right now. Um, Ellie. Greetings, stranger. I'm very busy just now. I suggest that you talk to my husband, Hugh. He likes talking to strangers. He was once a famous tailor, you know, but he's seen much of the world in his day. What's going on? The harvest looks like it will be a catastrophe. The corn has grown well enough, but it's got some sickness and makes it inedible. We'll have to work very hard to survive this winter. I would break my heart if we had to abandon our farms and move to Rivertown. Tell me more about the harvest disaster. My Hugh is the main man trying to find out a way to save our harvest. He's sort of an unofficial leader around here. Our corn takes on a greenish colour and after three days suddenly dies off then rocked within hours. If you want to help us, then you should talk to Hugh. Can you tell me anything more about your husband Hugh is standing right here? Hugh's a good man, but he can waffle on sometimes. Before he settles down in the valley, he works as a tailor for most of noble families in Vadistis. The clothes he makes for sale are the best in the valley. Local people pay a high price for a set of them. Let's see, what else? Well, he knows a lot about other races, orcs, elves, and dwarves especially. Comes from all the travelling he did before we were married. Oh, uh, just one other thing. He likes to wear funny clothes of an evening. A bit feminine if you catch my drift. Don't be shocked if you come calling after sundown. He's all man in bed though, I'll witness to that. Oh, okay, that's uh, interesting. Uh, so why did you give up his job? Seems if he had a great future in Vodistus. Ah, uh, yes, well, Hugh fell out with one of the clients, so he tells me, a gracious lady who particularly enjoyed Hugh's ministerings while her husband was away. She got jealous of his other customers if you catch my drift, threatened to call the Assassin's Guild down on his head if he didn't promise to tailor just for her. My Hugh decided he needed a bit of country life and moved secretly out here. Best luck for me, I met him while he was building this farm and now I've got him all to myself. A real woman needs no assassins to hold on to a good man. Uh, farewell, I'll return later. That's quite a life story there. Um, hi, Hugh. Um, do you need help? Aye, the harvest looks like it will be a disaster, and even the village elders do not understand why. If we don't find a solution, we'll all have to move to Rivertown, simply to survive the winter. What happened to the harvest? 
It all started with the corn getting a strange greenish colour to it. Not a fungus, something nobody had ever seen before. After three days, my cornfield was a swamp of decay. Fair sick in the body just to look at it. Of course, we couldn't sell the corn, and now my other crops are showing the same symptoms. And mine ain't the only farm that's been stricken around here. Not by a long shot. Uh, do you have any suspicions? He was suggesting someone poisoned the fields. That would be terrible, insane. Everyone knows that if war breaks out this year, we'll need every mouthful of food from this harvest. What kind of war are you talking about? The Orc warbands are gathering in large numbers to the southeast of the Ducal army plans to attack them before they can invade us. Um, a war against Orc raiding parties? Hmm, sounds like a much used to pick up some light mercenary work. Do you know why the Orcs are risking a war against the Dukedom? No, I have no idea. You see, normally the different clans are happily locked in on a feud with each other. A killing is their right of adulthood, you know. But usually, they keep it all between orc and orc. Each clan has dozens of complicated rules of warrior etiquette, so any time two or more clans meet up, it usually ends in an insult to someone's honour, and a new feud starts up. How they overcome their infighting uh, to attack us, I can't guess, but the plain fact is that they have. I don't know, perhaps, as they're saying, the orcs plan to enslave the other races and loot the duke's treasures. But it just doesn't feel right to me. Thanks for the info. Time to go, I think. Is this a back door? Let's go, let's go this way. Thanks. See you later, guys. Um, okay, well, that was some in, some interesting backstory to um, both Hugh and, <laughs> Hugh and Ellie and uh, the world in general. Any news? Can't talk now. My sergeant's watching me. Okay, well, that's a new one. Um... Any news? Oh no, okay. The sergeant's, uh, sergeant's on the prowl. Yeah. Heart attack. Yeah. I know, it's a sad, sad state of affairs. Alright, no teleport has been identified yet. Our um, quest log is. Oh, okay. We've uh, we're having intrusive thoughts about working out the uh, the harvest. I definitely think somebody is responsible for it, which is interesting. Hello, person. You. There you go. Oh, Ben. Hi, old stranger. You look like you've got some free time on your hands. Can you do me a favour? Well, that depends on what you want. Standing watch on the parapets is sly, slappingly boring. See, when I'm on duty, I'm not allowed to leave my sentry post. The thing is, I'm also dying of thirst here. You know what I mean? So you want me to get you a nice cup of fresh water? Fresh water? God, no, I was thinking that you could get me a bottle of fine ale. Anything for an officer of the watch, I'll bring you a bottle of ale directly. I will not go and fetch you a bottle of ale. By the gods, man, you are standing watch here. Boring with this lovely beauty case out. One bottle of ale, my friend. Cheers. God, love ya. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Anything for offer? <laughs> okay. Uh, what is lovely you to go? Gaze at. Uh, you try appreciating the same vista for seven hours a day, friend. Sod natural beauty. Give me the inside of a grotty inn every time. Uh, I have to go now. Oh, well, there you go. That was interesting. Um, other soldier who was there and then was not there. Okay, how do I get you to appear again? Oh, I can see the bottle in his hand now, that's good. Uh, oh, there's, uh, oh, Ben's positive towards me. Well, that's fair. Royal Guard. It is a fine night, even when it's not a night. Oh! Some of us guards aren't too happy about all this divine one stuff the Duke and his court keep going on about. I mean, if Janice is part of God, why does he need us to garden? And if he's the guardian angel of all the races, why are we at war with the orcs? We're not too happy about all the executions and the torturing of prisoners he's ordered of late either. Ah, oh, thanks for your time, good guardsman. Good guardsman. Where's the latrine around here? Can you put me to the latrine, soldier? Oh, 
I think it's on this side of the castle, which is interesting. Or a bee. Oh, interesting. The maps pushed back some of the uh, the fog over the castle. There, I wonder why that is. Interesting. Well, I think there's some good. I might be able to do in the farmland, so maybe I'll stop here for a moment and um, see if I can work out what's going on with the harvest and uh, find the teleporter that should be around here. <laughs>